brilliant news. Number one, the Ford DeLorean. Ford actually offered to pay Universal $75,000 for them to use a Mustang as the time machine, but the film producers refused because they felt that the aesthetics of the car didn't fit the film. The DeLorean looked different, futuristic, and a lot cooler. And so even though they actually had to pay DeLorean 5% of the net receipts for any promotion that involved them, instead of getting paid to promote them, the team chose the DeLorean and the DMC-12 became the time machine. Number 2. The Krupp's Capacitor The Mr. Fusion unit that appears on the DeLorean in Back to the Future 2 is supposed to use recycled trash to power the flux capacitor and the time circuits. However, the actual Mr. Fusion prop was also made from recycled material. They used a Krupp's coffee grinder mounted onto a custom base made from a Singer magnetic disc memory core. If you look closely, you can see the original control knob with the numbers and below that the on-off switch. Number 3. Nuclear Hubcap the Mr. Fusion wasn't the only prop on the DeLorean to use recycled parts. Most of the parts inside the car used at least some recycled parts like, for example, for the base of the nuclear reactor, they used a hubcap from a Dodge Polara. This was because the idea behind all the time travel equipment on the car was that it had to look like it had been made in a garage out of spare parts. So therefore cables had to be visible, parts had to look cobbled together, and the entire thing had to look like it could just as easily explode as take you back in time. Number 4. Slow Car the original DMC-12 was supposed to be an affordable sports car but was actually pretty slow. It had a 2.85 litre V6 producing just 130 horsepower and it wasn't a particularly light car either. It took nearly 10 seconds to do 0 to 60 and had a top speed of 109 miles per hour. This meant that it would actually have been physically impossible for it to reach 88 miles per hour within the distance it had in the car park in the first film. The DMC-12's speedometer didn't even display 88 miles per hour anyway because US law at the time mandated 85 miles per hour as the maximum so they ended up having to make custom speedometers for the cars in the film and to top it all off as well as not being fast or looking fast the car didn't sound fast either so they had to replace the engine make it sound quicker in the end they used the sound of a Porsche 928's V8 and the sound of a land speeder from Star Wars Number 5 Gullwing Doors the DeLorean's gullwing doors are one of the major reasons the car was used in Back to the Future films. They gave the car a futuristic feel but also permitted the inside of the car to be filmed more easily. However, like almost everything on the DeLorean, they were flawed too. When the DeLorean travels through time and reaches its destination, it looks incredibly cold. The special effects team achieved this effect by having CO2 canisters release carbon dioxide through the vents at the back of the car, and they also poured liquid nitrogen over the top of the car to give it a frozen look. Liquid nitrogen is extremely cold. Pouring it over the top of the car caused the hydraulic struts that help lift and hold the gullwing doors to malfunction. And so after every shot where they used liquid nitrogen, crew members had to heat the struts up with hair dryers to make them function again. Number 6. Seven DeLoreans a total of seven cars were used in the film and they were separated into categories. The A car was also known as the hero car and it was the most detailed and also the most utilized throughout the films. The B car was the stunt car and was less detailed but reinforced and modified to be able to handle stunt work. The C car was mainly used for interior shots and so it was missing parts of the interior and some exterior paneling so that there was room for the camera. A full scale fiberglass car was made by the VFX team for use in the flying DeLorean scenes. For the third film, an A car was specially adapted using the frame from a Volkswagen Beetle to enable it to cope with the off-road terrain of the Wild West. And the B car was adapted to run on rails and then strategically cut up and rigged with explosives to be completely destroyed in the film's final scene. Which of these secrets surprised you the most? Comment below and subscribe for more.